Hello everybody, it's Dr. Christine Kazmar here and today's quick bite, your body's five waste removers. One of the things I tell my patients in the consultations is that you are as healthy primarily as two main key components. One, how well your cells receive nutrition and two, how readily your body removes waste. Well, this is the part we're gonna focus on is how well your body removes waste. There are five main organs that do all of this for us, okay? Number one, the liver. I absolutely adore you, liver. This liver does so many things all day long. It is a detox powerhouse. Also, liver, the liver makes something called bile. Your bile moves your bowel movements. So the more thick and pasty your bile is per se, you're gonna have more of a constipation complaint. So you need to nourish the liver a different way. If your liver has is making a lot of liquidy bile or too watery, loose bile, then you're gonna have loose stools and you need to nourish the liver in a different way then. So that's what my testing involves is finding out what nutrition this specific organ needs. So liver is the number one waste remover. Number two are the kidneys. I always say that if I weren't a chiropractic doctor and in digestive health, I'd wanna be a nephrologist. Love the kidneys. They do so many amazing things, these little guys. Uh, sitting there in the back and two little glands on top of them are the adrenals. But together, the kidneys remove all sorts of debris. All day long, they're removing debris. One little quick tip here. When you drink water, do not drink more than 12 ounces of water per 30 minutes of time. And the reason for that is if you do, if you just wake up and drink a whole liter of water at once, you are making your kidneys work more than they need to. Think of a plant. If you're gonna water a plant, it's only gonna retain so much water before it starts to spill out or saturate out and come out the bottom. Why waste it? That's what you're doing in effect if you're drinking too much water in too short a period of time. So again, kidneys remove debris as well, but don't overdo it. Yes, you need water, but don't drink more than 12 ounces per half hour of time. One other little point about the kidneys. If you have a lot of nausea, that may be kidney stress. I see that a lot in practice. I, I take care of a lot of people with nausea. It's very common. Unfortunately, what it usually means is that the kidneys are so, they have so much work to do. The, that person's body is so polluted, meaning they're not properly removing waste, as I said at the top. Therefore, they are starting to get this symptom of nausea. Generally not stomach at all, a lot more, it's kidneys. Organ number three, the skin. No surprise here, this is how we remove pollutants. One of the things that people are doing wrong is that they're using antiperspirants. This is putting aluminum into your armpit. And so you have all sorts of lymphatics, the tail of Spence going there. A lot of breast cancer is attributed to this. I don't care what they're telling you, it's not normal for us to be putting aluminum, a heavy metal into our armpit. Consequences are gonna result from this, people. So yes, we are made to sweat. We are made to have an odor. You wanna cover that up? There are all sorts of natural methods to do that. One uh, plug I'll, I'll promote is a, a deodorant called La Vanilla. You can get it from Sephora, get it online. It's 13 bucks a thing, so it's a little bit more pricey, but still, I'd rather spend a little bit extra money to know that I'm not putting aluminum into my armpit. So through, through sweating and, and all sorts of things with the skin, you are removing debris. Very important to let that process happen by sweating. Organ number four, the lungs. This is how we remove debris is by breathing, coughing it out, okay? So what you also should understand is that if you're not breathing properly, as well as if you're not properly, uh, if your posture is not right, right when you're walking, this is gonna affect how you're removing carbon dioxide. What, what are you saying, Dr. Christine? I don't get it. What does walking have to do with this? When you walk, it has everything to do with how your cerebral spinal pump is working. And so that's gonna help flush out debris as well. So you want your posture to be right, you wanna be breathing properly, and most women are not breathing properly. So when you take an inhalation in, you should almost feel, um, if there's a horizontal strap by your stomach, you should almost feel that moving down towards your feet upon inhalation. When you exhale, you should almost imagine it coming up towards your throat, so to, so to speak, like you're pushing the air out. That's how you're supposed to breathe. The better breath you have, the more waste you're going to dispel. So that's exactly what you want, is you wanna get rid of waste by properly breathing and properly having aligned posture. So see your chiropractor. Number five are the bowels. Again, one of my bread and butter organs in my practice, love the bowels. Obviously, you know what the bowels do. They're, they're getting all the foods that you're eating. They're making it into a nice bowl, you know, like a nice 
uh, submarine to kind of find its way out. This is what has to happen to remove debris. You want it to be coming out the right way. Uh, your, your bowels have so much work to do. There are so many uh, bacteria, you know, working for us, further digesting all that food, getting rid of all kinds of junk. So you want your bowels to get rid of debris. If you're constipated, clearly you're not getting rid of waste effectively. If you're having diarrhea, you're getting rid of all sorts of nutrition, electrolytes, things like uh, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, and that's not a good thing either. Every single one of these organs has a role with each other. So the liver, the kidneys, the skin, the lungs, the bowels, they all need to be doing their job. If one of them is not properly nourished, it's going to put a bigger burden on the others. So they all have to work collectively to remove debris. I hope you've enjoyed this quick bite. Don't forget Monday nights at 9 p.m. You can join me over on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash the digestion doc, where I will answer your questions live. I'll see you next time.